Hello my besties, how are you? Nice of you to stop by. I am so excited because we're gonna be doing a rug reef today using Dollar Tree scarves and a heart shape form. So exciting, let's get started. This is a 100% Dollar Tree craft. You're gonna need three scarves and it could be regular or infinity and three rows of tulle. Of course, pick the colors that you like. And you're gonna need a reef form. Today I'll be using heart shaped. This technique can be done with a round 14 inch frame as well. You're just gonna need a little bit more scarves and tulle. Coco, can we start? All right, let's do it. I'm so excited to share this one with you because even though it's gonna take a little bit of time, it's such a fun project and it's gonna cost a whopping seven dollars <laughs> all right so first we have to cut everything and if you got the infinity scarf like me you're gonna have to cut it to open first first i thought that i was gonna rip the uh, strips of fabric uh, but turns out it's impossible with the scarves so we're gonna have to cut it with the scissors or with the rotary cutter if you have one we're gonna have to cut strips one and a half inches wide by seven inches long yet the scarf is 10 inches wide so you're gonna have to cut off an inch and a half on each side the best way is to fold the scarf in half and you cut quicker that way and save these pieces just in case if you're gonna need a couple extra strips to complete your reef so now we have a nice seven inch wide piece so all you have to do is measure up inch and a half and keep cutting nice straight pieces. Um, of course, it's helpful to fold your fabric in half or in three. <laughs> Save yourself some time. Oh, and don't worry about these uh, strips being so straight and perfect. Uh, this is a rag reef, so imperfections are perfect here. You are going to get about 40 pieces from one scarf. And of course, those two extra long pieces on the side. And here I did the same thing with the regular scarf. I cut off an inch and a half. And now those uh, long pieces have little tassels at the end. How cute. So I was thinking maybe I'll reuse these uh, long strips later on to make a rug bow. Uh, let me know if you like to see a video with the rug bow. And I continue chopping the strips one and a half inches wide. And I am happy to report that the regular scarf gives you about 40 pieces, just like the infinity scarf. So it doesn't matter which one you find in the store, okay? One more scarf. So remember, total of three scarves. So you're gonna get, again, around 40 strips, grand total of 120 strips. And now we're gonna have to cut our tulle. Don't worry that it's only six inches wide while the other strips are seven. Tulle stretches, so it's just fine. So you're gonna have to cut it in pieces one and a half inch wide. I think mine came out more like two inches wide, but it's okay, it's so thin. <laughs> Uh, so I cut them in about 10 inch wide uh, pieces, easier to manage, and then I quickly uh, divided that in five pieces uh, so I could count in tens to let you know um, how much I get per roll. I'm happy to inform you that you get about 50 strips per roll. So you're going to wind up with around 150 strips of tulle and 120 of fabric, grand total of 270. Oh no, Coco, I hung these on a doorknob thinking that they're away from Coco's side and look, <laughs> I don't know if I'll be able to make a rug bow actually, guys. <laughs> Oh 
All right, and now the fun part of attaching the strips. As you can see, the form has three rails, one on the outside, one in the middle, and one on the inside. We're gonna start with the outside rail first. I don't know if you noticed, but the fabric has two sides. One on the outside is a good side, and one on the inside is a little bit lighter. You see? So what we're gonna be doing is folding each strip in half, Then we're gonna fold it over, find a midpoint like this, create a loop, and then we're gonna swoop it over the rail, just like that. Okay, so let's do it. You First of all, you have all your strips um, aligned in a pattern. You're gonna follow that pattern all around the reef. You fold your strip in half, find the midpoint, You loop it and swoop it and tighten it just like that. And then you take your tool and do exact same thing. You fold it in half, loop it and swoop it. Just don't pull it as hard as the fabric because it's very stretchy and you don't want it to be too long. Take the next piece. Fold it, loop it, and swoop it. That's it, guys. That's all it takes. You're going to do exact same thing all around this reef. <laughs> And you notice I put a strip of tulle in between each strip of uh, fabric. Okay, and this completes my first set. As you know, I have a set of six, three scarves, three tulles. So in between each uh, set, I decide to add an extra strip of tulle. As you know, I have 150 strips of tulle, 120 of fabric. So I want to use up that extra tulle in between each set. All right, and now I start all over again with the pattern that I have lined up over here in front of me. All right, I just completed my next set of six. So I'm going to add an extra piece of tulle. I used the light pink before, so now I'm gonna use red. So we have two sets and we continue doing the same thing over and over again. So this is going to take a while. I suggest you turn on your favorite show, sit back and relax and just have fun with it, okay? And I don't know, what was I thinking? I turned on the impeachment. <laughs> I almost fell asleep. No, no, no. And here I am reaching the end of the first section. 
As you know, uh, the reef is divided in sections with little sidebars in between. So um, I just want to let you know that I was able to fit exactly five sets in the first uh, section. Uh, five sets uh, times six, that's 30 pieces right there. Oh, and I almost forgot to count the extra strips of tulle I put in between each set. So that was five. So 35 strips altogether in that one section. And here's the close up look at that section. I am so happy these strips stay up like this. I think tulle definitely helps it. And I continue adding these around just in case if you're wondering. We're gonna add one set there, two sets here. We added five sets in this section that we just did. Two sets in the tip, five sets over there around. Two sets here, just like there and then one set at the tip. As I do the last section of my outside rail, I want to show you my trick. I move the reef over the edge of the table and I find it very easy to loop and swoop <laughs> just up over there. I'm sorry, I am covering with my fingers. It probably was uh, better for your view when I did it across the table. But as you do it, you sit back, relax. You're going to find your own tricks and ways of doing this. For me, it's very comfortable like that. All right, so the outside rail is done. That was so much fun. Uh, so satisfying. I really encourage every one of you out there watching to give it a try. You're gonna be surprised how satisfying this is and you might even get hooked on it. <laughs> so one down, two to go. Now we're gonna do the middle rail. One important thing to remember is to switch up your pattern now. You want to do a different pattern for every rail. Otherwise, these uh, patterns will align and it will not look cute at all. So you got to mix these up. Okay, I think this is good now. Let's start uh, middle rail. Well, nothing new here. You do exact same thing. Uh, fold it in half, loop it and swoop it and you're gonna see how nicely these gonna lay on the first layer. Just um, so satisfying, <laughs> you see? Oh my gosh, I sound, uh, I sound boring to you, huh? I get excited over little rug pieces over here, but don't judge me, you gotta try it. <laughs> I'm sure some of my besties had done a rug reef before, so uh, please comment down below and let me know uh, what kind of reef did you make? Was it uh, round or heart shaped? And what kind of technique did you do? Did you um, loop and swoop or did you tie the nuts? Um, what colors did you use? Did you like it? Uh, please uh, let me know. I would love to know and uh, looking forward to reading your answers. Continue repeating the same pattern all around that rail. And here I am reaching the last section of the middle rail, that little tip over there. And we're gonna just add, I think one set, six pieces there.
Yay, the second rail complete. <laughs> it's not that fast, guys. The magic of television. <laughs> Nevertheless, it's so much fun. So now what we're going to do is switch up the pattern again. And we're going to do the final inside the rail. I'm sorry, it's hard to see this behind all the fluff, <laughs> uh, but I'm not doing anything new, just looping and swooping, just the way I've done from the beginning, um, except that it's a new pattern, new pattern all around, okay? <laughs> and here I am skipping through the end, I am done. I'm just combing through these with my fingers, uh, just to make sure everything's laying down nicely and nothing stuck in between the rails. You can easily see that if you flip to the back. Everything's looking good. At the end, you might wanna cut off anything that sticks up too much. I'm not really cutting much because I like that uh, raggedy look. And here's the look at my labor of love. <laughs> what do you think? I think it came out so cute. I like it a lot. And that fabric from the scarf and tulle uh, makes it look so light and airy. It's just beautiful. I don't know if it's translate on camera that well, but it's just gorgeous. And... Uh, I love that um, there is actually heart shape in the middle. This technique is wonderful because that shape uh, doesn't get lost. I'm looking at this wreath and these colors remind me of something. Yes, my hot pink ride, the light up frame that I just did. If you haven't seen that video, I'm gonna provide a link for you. And eventually, I might want to add a checkered bow to this wreath, but for now, I don't want it to take away from the beauty and all the colors. Alright my besties, so this is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you had enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you like it and also consider subscribing because I have many more fun ideas coming up. Take care guys. See you next time. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Coco looks so cute in the scarf, doesn't she? As usual, she still uses the shawl. <laughs> See you next time. Bye.